Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Melting, Bronzing, and Sculpting Stick. As soon as I saw that these came out, I had to go try them because I love the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil like bronzing products in general. They smell so good. They work so well So I had to get my hands on this and try it for you guys. So that's what today is gonna be all about We're gonna read some details see what it's supposed to do try it out See what it actually does and I will let you know if I think it's worth your money So before we get started on all that fun stuff Please make sure to like this video for me and please subscribe to my channel. Don't miss out. You get three videos a week, so please join the family. But if you want to see me review this new product, stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, we can just get started because I want to try this out. So I have it pulled up on Sephora. It is, again, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Melting, Bronzing, and Sculpting Stick goes for $35 and it's 0.282 ounces. I got the shade Chocolate Caramel, which is a tan bronze. I wanted Chocolate Souffle, which was a medium bronze. It's like a shade lighter than this, but they were completely sold out of that one. So I was like, I'm gonna try this and see if it works just as well. So there are four shades that you could choose from. This is the third out of four. Um, highlights, stick formula, gluten-free, natural finish, cruelty-free. It says a creamy, buildable, and blendable stick bronzer that provides natural looking warmth and dimension. This easy cream bronzer and sculpting stick gives you natural looking second skin warmth and dimension that smells as good as it looks. The formula is lightweight and buildable, blendable. It won't disturb makeup, gives a natural finish, and is made with skin loving ingredients. Okay, so I'm expecting a natural looking second skin warmth and dimension that smells as good as it looks. I am very much expecting that. And then for the how to use, it just says after foundation, swipe the stick over the areas you wanna bronze, and then you can use fingers, a brush, or a sponge. I am going to use a brush because that's what I've just been liking lately for my cream products. So yeah, let's open this up and see what it looks like out of the packaging. Love the packaging so, so much. It literally looks like a stick of chocolate and I am here for it. I think this is so, so cute. So I love the fact that it just comes off. You don't have to like twist. You just pull the cap and it comes off. I love the gold inside. A++ for packaging. I think this is just adorable. It looks so like delicious. And it kind of matches with me a little bit. I don't know. Anyways, let me see. Obviously, by the way, I don't have any like bronzer or blush products on my face. All I did was just face wise. I just did foundation and concealer. So this is like the next step that I need to do. So I just wanted to put that out there before I forget, but I want to do a little swatch of this so that we could see. Ooh, that, guys, I wish I could tell you how easily that swiped onto the back of my hand. I feel like I put like no pressure and it just swooped. Like it was really, really creamy and smooth. And it feels like I'm like blending a little bit with my finger and it feels so, so soft to touch. I'm very excited to see how this looks on my face now because that, obviously I didn't do like a perfect job blending because it's just the back of my hand, but I'm loving what this did and how it felt. And it smells like chocolate, just as I was suspecting. It smells so good. Oh my God, if there is one thing I love about Too Faced, chocolate soleil products it's just how good they smell you guys oh but it's so bad because it's making me want to eat chocolate and i should not but i love it okay anyways that's all i have to say so far i love everything about it i'm very excited to try it also if you hear any noises my dog is right here and he's in his crate going a little bit crazy so bear with me if you hear any crazy sounds we're still crate training so anyways I am going to just swipe on the areas that I want to apply bronzer and then I'm gonna take a brush 
and blend. So let's get started and then we'll talk details. Okay guys, I am back, I'm all bronzed up. And first thing that I have to say is I cannot get enough of how this smells. I can smell the chocolate like radiating off of my face and it smells so good. Like I am just loving the smell that this has. I just, I can't get enough, it's so good. Um, so that's the first thing obviously I had to point out because it has such a good smell and it's one of the first things that I noticed so obsessed with that um, Next thing I noticed you guys saw just from the first swipe a little goes a long way with this stuff You guys you do not need a ton of product to get a very pigmented chiseled out bronzed look I feel like I could have even done less product than what I did and I would have gotten a really good result. Like it's just a little goes a very, very long way with this stuff. It's so easy to blend that I had no problem with like, you saw, like I did put a generous amount of product onto my first cheek and I was a little bit nervous when I saw like how much came off just immediately and it was very, very pleasantly surprised to see how easy it was to blend in like it was literally just melting into my skin without moving any of the other makeup that I had underneath and I was able to bring the bronzer up to like the temples and on top of my forehead without like ruining what I had going on on my cheeks like it was just so easy to blend and like move and everything it was so easy to blend into my nose as well i feel like your nose is kind of a harder place to apply bronzer because sometimes it can be a little too much sometimes it's not enough it's just it's not fun to play with and this just was so seamless and then it just chiseled out my jawline and everything as well it looks perfect it looks like i have like chiseled out cheekbones it's amazing. I did a little bit less on my right cheek than I did on my left, and I feel like both sides look amazing. Blended to perfection. I don't know how the camera is picking it up, but in person, I am obsessed. Like, I genuinely don't think I've tried a cream bronzer like this that has wowed me as much as this is right now. Obviously, I can't speak to like longevity or how long this is gonna last on my face because this is a first impression. But from what I'm seeing right now, I am obsessed. And it's it's dry already, you guys. Like, I only have cream products on my face, and it's dried down. It's not moving. Like, it is staying in place. It looks amazing. Like, it did everything I could have wanted it to and more. And for being, like, the second to last darkest shade, I feel like it's a good match. Like, I feel like this is giving me a really, really good bronze look without being too much, without being not enough. Like, it is just the perfect in between. And I cannot get enough. Like, I cannot stress to you guys enough how obsessed I am with this right now. Like, this blew me out of the water. And I just want to keep using this over and over and over again because I just, I am obsessed with how this like turned out how it applied everything i don't have a single negative thing to say about this i think everything about it is perfectly perfectly made so i am in love with this one obviously it's a huge yes i highly recommend and i'm definitely gonna keep playing with it this is definitely not the last you guys are gonna be hearing about this on my channel so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed though comment and let me know how you think this turned out on me let me know if you see what i see if you think i'm crazy and you hate it let me know your thoughts let me know what else you want me to review give this a huge thumbs up for me and please subscribe to my channel but stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next video